Hi and welcome back to Model Railways Unlimited and another technical video. This video shows how to replace the mains lead fitted to a Morley Vector 02 model railway controller. But first please note that if you undertake this you will not only invalidate your guarantee but you could also be risking death or fire if you do something wrong. Never mess with electricity unless you're sure. Your first resort should always be to return the item for repair, which I have no doubt Morley would be happy to undertake. That aside, if you are unable to return the item, or you are competent and want to change the lead, then the process is quite simple. But why would you, I hear you ask? Well, I've not been lucky with this lead, the fitted plug soon failed, then yesterday the controller would not power up, and flexing the lead around its midpoint would cause the lights to come on for a brief moment. Clearly the cable had failed. This is no slur on Morley who have selected the correct cable type, however I found this Chinese cable to be very brittle indeed. You should select a 5 amp 3 core cable of appropriate length. Open the controller with the four screws on the front. Once inside you can see the arrangements for the mains voltage. The cable enters the controller via a hole at the rear then passes through a clamp which also serves as an earthing point and securing point for one of the transformers. An earth is required because the fixings do protrude on the underside. Remove the screws from the main commoning PCB. Unsolder the live and neutral wires. Only the incoming wires need to be removed. To undo the secure nut from the transformer mount and earthing point, you will need an M8 spanner. Unscrew the bolt from the underside of the controller. Once free, remove the cable and cut your new cable to be the same. Crimp the new earth wire and earth wire from the other transformer and consider soldering the wires to the crimp. Attach the new live and neutral wires to the PCB. If, as in my case, the cable is slightly thinner than the original, wrap a couple of turns of insulation tape around the cable where it sits inside the cable clamp. Carefully check, then re-secure everything. Note that the top of the CDU capacitor sits right on the floor of the controller, so no wires must be in this area. Fit a new approved plug on the other end of your cable with a 3 amp fuse, which is more than sufficient. Test everything and it should all be working. Hope this helps.